welcome to Friday Night Frights. Yes, we've been off for the last two weeks. Been a little lazy, haven't really got around to doing these videos. I've been tired from work and everything. And uh, the very the last one that I did on the paranormal shows and the um, movies didn't do so good. And I didn't have a guest. But today, I have a guest. And that's Tampa J from, of course, Tampa, Florida. And we're talking about zombie films. But before we get him on the air here, on the air, at least on the video, uh, we're going to show some notable movies, uh, zombie movies that I have in my collection. That's not all of them, and there's be a few of them. I might have two or three different ones or copies of Blu-ray, DVD, or whatever. But this is just some of the ones that I got in my collection that I just want to talk about. Night of the Creeps, Tom Atkins. What a classic uh, zombie film here. Now, this is a different cover, of course. I made this off of a copy machine and uh, just thought it was better than the one that they came out with later on. But it's a little bit of comedy and horror all mixed in together. Hey, it was the 80s. What do you expect? Night of the Creeps. Uh, another one that I have here later on. I had never seen these until recently, really. I seen one of them and then uh, Rousey talked about the other one so much. It's 28 Days Later. A little different take on uh, zombies and stuff, but, um, you know, with the virus and everything. They was, and of course, running and everything. This one's not as good, I don't think, as 28 Weeks Later. Now, uh, this one right here, I actually loved a lot more than the original, and I heard they were going to make a 28 Months Later or something. I always heard about that. But with everything going on and the virus and stuff and the cover of that right there, putting that mask on, I took a picture on Instagram here recently with that in front of me, uh, like this right here. Yeah. Um, but uh, people wearing masks and stuff at the stores and stuff you go to now. It's crazy what's going on. But this is kind of, you know, kind of creepy in ways. Next one up, Planet Terror. This is a uh, Robert Rodriguez film. Yeah, this is really a different take on zombies and stuff, and uh, killing them, just bloody gore, man. I mean, if you ain't never seen this, you have to check this one out. Um, it's got all kinds of people in it. You know, you got Bruce Willis and stuff, Josh Brolin, and even Quentin Tarantino plays a little bit in this. But, uh, yeah, Planet Terror was a gory, good, fun film, and uh, Rose McGowan wears the gun just good, so... Got to check out Planet Terror. That's another one. Uh, the next few, we're going to show off some VHS. And the one that kind of started it all, well, really did start it all, way back in the 60s, George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Now, when I was a kid and I first seen this film in black and white, it scared the living shit out of me, thinking of people coming back from the dead and everything. This is a blockbuster classic um, tape here. Um, Years later, they did remake it in 1990, and um, right there it is. And this one was, I actually like pretty good too, but uh, the original, you know, still holds up. And this one, of course, was in color though. And this is Tom Savini's Night of the Living Dead. I mean, who else do you want to make a zombie movie? Tom Savini is the greatest at making gory effects and stuff, so, you know, Night of the Living Dead right there. 1990, but the one I want to talk about the most is this one right here, George Romero's Dawn of the Dead that came out in the late 70s and actually the sequel to Night of the Living Dead, I guess you could call it, uh, the Trilogy of the Dead. Later on, there was Day of the Dead. I don't, don't have that one. I don't know why. I just don't, but this is my favorite zombie movie of all time. It's just classic, man. And they filmed it in Pittsburgh, of all places, just up north from where I live. But you know, all good movies have to have remakes eventually. And in the early 2000s, they did do the remake, Dawn of the Dead. Now, at first, when this came out years ago, I was kind of skeptical. But when I did see it, and the zombies ran, scared the living shit out of me, and uh, good acting and stuff in it. Uh, who all played in this gangster? Ben Rames played in this, and, uh, you know, he was pretty cool. Um, Mikhail Pfeiffer played in it, too. And they did do a lot from the original, but they did change it up a little bit. But they're still in the mall, and that's just, I don't know, growing up in the 80s and, and hanging out in malls and stuff, 
you know, back from the original one in the mall, you know, and then the remake, they still did the mall scene and stuff, and that's really cool. And uh, just being trapped in a mall with it being closed and stuff, it's just always something I, I liked to that as a kid, and so I, I love the zombies and stuff from that. And this one didn't uh, disappoint me. It held up real good, too, and it's one of my favorite remakes still yet. But over the years, they've made so many other zombie movies. It seems like... 10 or 20 or 30 of them come out every year. There's a lot of zombie movies out there, and there's a lot of zombie movies that's not that good at all, and there's some that's classic, there's some that's bad, but still classic, and that's another one I have to show you. Lucio Fulci's Zombie. I mean, the name says it all right there, right? This is a big box re-release, but growing up in my area that I grew up in, a little bitty town, um... I went to a video store when they first opened up, like in the early 80s, and I used to see this sitting on the shelf all the time. And of course, being a little kid, you couldn't rent it. Kids, my parents wouldn't let me rent it or anything, but just looking at the cover of this, and then years later, seeing Friday the 13th Part 6, and kind of thinking that kind of looked like Jason a little bit. So I was intrigued to uh, want to watch it. Years later, I finally watched it, uh, Lucio Fulci does do some gory movies and stuff. It's not the best zombie movie, but it's a uh, classic in its own way, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. But that's just a little side note story of zombie from Lucio Fulci. But like I said, we have Tampa J on the line today, and he's going to talk to us about zombie films and stuff. And uh, he's a movie fan, big time, and he's got a lot in common with me. And uh, he does videos on YouTube. He does a little bit of uh, location stuff. He does a lot of vlogging and stuff. And uh, he does he does check out some areas uh, from movie locations and stuff like that. So you'll have to check out his channel. And the link will be in the description of this video. And um, go check out what he's got to show you. He's a real big Star Wars fan. He's real big into a lot of 80s stuff. He's a brother from another mother, but he also likes horror and he likes zombie films. And that's what we're talking about. So let's talk to him. Let's get him on the phone. And we got Tampa J on the line. Welcome to Friday Night Frights. How are you doing, Tampa J? Well, hello, everyone. Hello, Movie John. Doing good, man. <laughs> doing good. Yeah, this is awesome. How's the weather down there in Tampa today? It's actually pretty nice. Not too hot and definitely not cold. <laughs> it's only like 39 degrees here, so uh, oh, yeah, we're a little chilly, The wind and the wind's real bad, it, it's crazy outside, I don't know what's going on today. That sounds, that sounds terrible, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's alright, it's West Virginia, man, here the weather, you know, last week we had a day where it was almost 80 degrees, and then a few days later it rains for three or four days, and now it's back in the 30s, and actually had a little trace of snow out this morning, it was crazy. I don't, I don't miss that, man. Hopefully it'll get warmer for you soon, though. Hopefully so. But today, we're talking about zombies. You like zombie films? I love zombie films. Right. Yes. What is your favorite zombie film? Uh, I'd have to say Dawn of the Dead, the original. That's also mine, too. Uh, George Romero, well, look of course. At that. Yeah, yeah, that... I just talked. I just talked about uh, some of the few that I have in my collection, and I talked about that being my favorite. And I also said that we have a lot in common, and that's funny that that's your favorite because that's my favorite too. Yeah, it's funny. We're always saying, "Hey, I like that too." Hey, no, I like that too. Yeah, we do have a lot in common. We like the Steelers. <laughs> we like Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Uh, Dawn of the Dead. Now. Dawn of the Dead. Joking. Yeah. We're, we're um, brothers from other mothers. We. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure oh, is. Movie J. I yeah. might just change my name to Movie J. There you go. <laughs> um, do do you? Uh, I, I you know I was talking about your videos earlier and saying that, you know you do movie locations and stuff. Have you done any? Uh, I haven't really uh, got to see you know some in a while. I, I watch here and there when I can because you put so much up. But have you ever went to any uh, locations of like zombie films? Well, no, but it's. It's funny that we're doing this. I was supposed to be, uh, I was supposed to win. It got rescheduled, but I, I booked the flight and bought the ticket and everything to go to Steel City Comic Con, mm -hmm. which is in Monroeville, outside of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And 
that's where Dawn of, uh, Dawn of the Dead was filmed, the mall. And I, I just, I wanted to go to the, I love cons, and I wanted to go to the con, but I especially wanted to go just so I could see the mall mm-hmm. and maybe go and look at the Night of the Living Dead locations of the cemetery. But no, I have not. I want to. And hopefully if, uh, I still have the ticket to the con and the hotel and everything, mm-hmm. if it still goes on, yeah, hopefully one day, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did a uh, video here recently uh, where I went to MJTV, where I went to uh, Welcome Back Collectibles. And uh, that guy has a lot of stuff. His name's Larry. He goes there every year and sells. That's funny that you're talking about that. Yeah. And I, I, I you know, I watch your channel all the time. I've, I've clicked over on his videos. Oh, that's awesome. Like, yeah. That's and cool. uh, I, I told him I really want to go up there. Maybe I can go up there one day. So uh, I might run into you there. But, you know, this summer. Yeah. My daughter lives not too far, probably, from where you live, down that area, and uh, we're trying to come down there in August, but with everything going on, who knows? Well, come on down. I hope it works out so I can see you, buddy. That'd yeah, that would awesome be great. With you. Yeah. Uh, what's the very first uh, zombie m- movie that you can remember seeing? Night of the Living Dead, the original uh, Romero classic. Um, I remember my it was, it was a box set of some random like um, VHS tapes mm-hmm. that I got for Christmas. I mean, I was young. I was probably seven or eight. I liked, my parents didn't mind what I watched. I mean, <laughs> I think I grew up okay. At yeah. That point. But, but um, they gave me a whole, like this classic horror collection and inside of it, I think it was like Dementia 13. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't think of the other ones, but Night of the Living Dead was in that. And I remember popping that in and like me, my eyes being glued the tv and i was like frightened watching this in my bedroom like all alone i'm like whoa and that's what opened <laughs> my curiosity up to zombies mm. and I, I not much longer after that i'd like watched every zombie movie there was at that time and that's that's yep. so funny that uh I, that's the first one i remember watching when i was you know, about the same age yep. Uh, crazy <laughs> the black and white films too they just kind of creepier back then when you were smaller wasn't they right Exactly, and they're still creepy. I, I watched the, what was it? Oh, I watched Dementia 13, the same box set. Mm. I still have it. No, oh, that's cool. The other night, and I was like, wow, this is creepy. <laughs> uh, and and have you uh, ever met George, did you ever get to meet George Romero before he passed? I, I did not have the pleasure, mm. no. I wish I would have. Yeah, I got to meet him in 2010 at the Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky. And, uh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember the first day we went, uh, me and some friends on on a Saturday, and he had a line that was just, it was it, it was like an hour and 40 minutes to two hour wait. And I'm like, man, I just went and seen a few other people. And I'm like, you know, and the day ended, we was tired, we left, uh, his line was still out the door. And, you know, we weren't going to come back the next day. And I said, you know, man, he's getting up there in age and stuff. I said, maybe we can yeah. go back before we go home. And we had to pay an extra $20 for the next day to go. But we went back, and as soon as we got in there, oh, he had like four you. people in line. And we ran up there real quick, me and my buddy. And uh, we, we just, I'm glad I went back too, though. That's awesome. I'm glad you did. Do you remember, uh, what was he like? Did you? Do you remember, your, do you have a conversation well, with them? Or? Nah, well, you know, some, when you go to them things, sometimes you, you get a whole lot of time to talk and sometimes you don't get a whole lot, you know. He, right, he, was, yeah. he wasn't, uh, like, real short or nothing, but, you know, he just asked, you know, what's your favorite zombie movie that he'd done and all that kind of stuff. I remember him saying oh, that. So, cool. Yeah, and I told him, really, the, the original trilogy, you know, uh, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead, I thought was my favorites. And he said, that's cool. And then he kind of made a joke. He said, you know, my last two or three people haven't really seemed to care about them. He said, but uh, maybe I'm losing my touch. And I said, nah. I said, times change, man. It's just it's just different nowadays. These young people don't appreciate that kind of stuff. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's awesome. That's actually a really good conversation to have with a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, it, it was cool, and uh, like I said, a few years later, he passed him. away, but uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, he has made some of the best zombie movies. And, uh, yeah, indeed. He's the king of them. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your favorite thing about zombie films in general? I, I you know, I think, I, I love horror, I love gore, I love the terror, but I think it's the, the survival mode. Mm. Like, all of a sudden, everything's fine. 
just another day, and this is all familiar currently to us, this kind of feeling too. Yeah. Um, and then just something happens, and everyone, there's something out there that can kill you. Yeah. And it's, and what do you do? You run and hide, and you fight with everything you have. I think it's, a li- it's mostly that, but yeah, I like the, the zombies, you know, like the makeup, and mm-hmm. it's a combination of all that, and then, um, both of us are Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and the yeah. fact that those first movies took mm. place in Pittsburgh, and you saw, you know, like people wearing Pittsburgh Steelers stuff, and yeah. Iron City beer, and mm. so yeah, it's, it's got a lot of nostalgia, yeah, like that, that for me. But yeah, that uh, my buddy Larry that went up there, at the, he went to that mall and stuff while he was there and everything. He said there's like a little bitty kind of wall that's got some pictures and stuff on it. But there's no real big like memorial thing that they he thinks that should be there, you know. There's not right, a, yeah. a little plaque or something on the wall with some pictures, and that's about it. And of course, the mall has changed so much since then. But um, oh yeah. But uh, I look forward to seeing yeah. that video if you can get up that way eventually. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe uh, hopefully you'll get to see it for yourself soon someday too. I'll let you know when I'm going to Pittsburgh. It was rescheduled in June, but. Mm-hmm. It's probably been rescheduled now. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. That was a month ago it got rescheduled. It's about, yeah, man. I think Pittsburgh's around eight hours from where I live. I live at the very bottom okay. of West Virginia, so it's about an eight-hour drive. So Yeah, that's a good drive. That's like me driving to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. so it's up there a little bit, but, um, you know, it's I, I get up there eventually one day, but like I said, I want to come to Grindhouse video, too, while I'm there in Tampa. <laughs> oh, no, I would, it's funny you're going to say that. I was like, hey, let's go to Grindhouse video. Check it out. It's a really cool place. Yeah, that would be cool. So when I come there, I definitely got to be there a week. My daughter lives there. And uh, yeah. Rousey, her uh, parents live there. And then I said, they, and then we got to throw Tampa J in there. I got to meet up with him, too. And she started laughing. Sure, she man. said, yeah, yeah, we got to do that, too. So that would be real cool. But uh, yeah. thanks for uh, joining me on you. Friday Night Frights talking about zombie films and definitely maybe have you back on another episode talking about some other kind of horror films. Hey, I'd be glad to come back. Thank you. It was absolutely my pleasure. I I love this channel. I've been watching for a long time and you're a cool guy, Movie John. Well, appreciate that. And I love watching your videos. Like I said, you do so many of them. Sometimes I got to catch back up and watch four or five in a row in one day, you know, and then I was like, man, he done put up another video or he done put this up. (laughs) Uh, I was talking about... Yeah, I was talking about the other videos that you did, uh, the, like Disney World and stuff and uh, the Star Wars stuff. That's really cool, too, that you got to, you know, see yeah. all that. and write. I've seen a lot of videos like that, and I watch every one of them. They're just cool. And uh, movie yeah, locations yeah. are great, too, though. I, I definitely love the movie locations, especially when you went to New York. You know what I'm talking about there. Yeah, those are my <laughs> favorite ones to do, man. That's what I want to do more of, but I like doing a lot of stuff. Everything I do is, comes from my heart, and just stuff I'd like to do, but thanks for watching and catching up, man. I appreciate it. It means a lot, man. Thank you. All right. Well, you keep watching the Friday Night Frights, too. Maybe we'll have you back on again sometime. I can't wait, man. I'm coming back. Okay, man. Watch your head. (laughs) So that's it for this episode of Friday Night Frights. And thanks, Tampa J, for being on the show and everything and talking zombie movies. It's great to talk to you. I've been talking to you on YouTube for quite a while, comments and stuff. But check out, his link will be in the bottom. does all kinds of types of videos. And uh, shows you a lot of Florida and stuff. He also goes out of town and does movie locations sometimes here and there. And he's done some on Ghostbusters. He's done on Friday the 13th. Some great stuff. So go check him out at the bottom of the screen in the description. Check his link out. Go sub him. And thanks again, Tampa J, for being on Friday Night Frights. Till next time.